be ready 5 seconds start mr vice chairman sir in the course of his reply the honorable minister referred to some of the remarks made on the 18th while replying to question number 4 and he said that his remarks were misunderstood by some of the members sir i really admire my honorable friend for making a reference to it but if i say that some ministers in the council of ministers at the center are wise how you will take it of course in his buoyancy he made that statement i do not know whether he really intended it but it only meant that some members in the opposition are wise and some are foolish of course taken in a lighter vein it means nothing but i think such a statement as a whole could have been avoided now sir i welcome some of the statements made by him and i submit that in april the vacancies were 64 and in july the vacancies were 67 according to his own analysis of the disease of areas and pendency of cases in the supreme court and in the high courts the judge strength was less and therefore this backlog is there now the pendency as on 31st december 1987 was 5 and half lakhs it has now exceeded 6 lakhs on that day in the delhi high court the pendency was 2000 odd now the pendency is over 25000 the sanctioned strength of the delhi high court is 18 permanent judges and 3 additional judges the delhi high court has five service judges out of whom two are from outside in principle i have no objection to judges being brought from other states but of the five service judges at least two are to be from outside that means three are from delhi the judges from the subordinate judiciary do not get any chance of promotion i have worked it out and i find that promotion is given to only about 40% of the judges from the service cadre therefore they do not have the necessary incentive i think something has to be done in this regard also to give proper incentives to the judges from the subordinate judiciary if among the subordinate judiciary there are efficient and competent people they should be promoted as high court judges of course it will boost the morale of these judges in fact we have seen that many supreme court judges who are doing very well have been promoted from the subordinate judiciary i would like to give some examples judge of the supreme court was at one time session judge another judge started his career as a subordinate judge similarly my friend started his career as a civil judge there are many a such instances i could even cite the example of another judge who delivered that famous judgment he was also a district judge and he was a promoti judge in the high court therefore my point is sufficient efforts should be made to give incentive to subordinate judiciary the honorable law minister has analyzed the disease and he has found 
that all these backlogs or errors are primarily due to the vacancies in the high courts he has also said that the judge strength is not as much as it should be and by way of an example he said about the karnataka high court where the sanctioned strength is 14 plus 3 additional judges this comes to 17 but their requirement is 33 similarly if you work out the requirement of judges in each high court taking into consideration the quota of disposal fixed by the chief justices conference namely 650 per year we find that the judges strength in each high court has to be increased every year this is because the errors go on mounting up this is a constant problem every year we cannot go on speaking about this it is necessary that efforts should be made to tackle this problem of errors and this can only be done by appointing suitable number of the judges in this connection i would like to point out one thing i could not understand one thing which the honorable law minister said in the course of his answers the other day he said that proper judges were not appointed i could not really understand what he meant by the words proper judges for the appointment of judges there is a specific provision in the constitution certain minimum qualifications must be there firstly a recommendation is made by the state government in consultation with the chief justice of the concerned high court then the appointment is made all this is known to the honorable law minister the same procedure has to be followed therefore when he made this observation that proper judges were not appointed i would expect a gentleman like my friend who not occupies the office of the law minister not to make such statements which may create confusion in the minds of the people and the house